find the dimensions of a rectangle, we must create a rectangle of some kind, and its area has to be 8,000, and its perimeter has to be minimum. So, triangle, or rectangles, sorry, have two lengths and two widths, and the area of this thing, of a rectangle, is length times width, and that has to come out to 8,000. The perimeter, which we're trying to minimize, is 2L plus 2W. So we want to differentiate this, but the usual problem comes up. We have two variables in here, and two variable derivatives are hairy, so can we avoid that? Yeah, probably. We have this expression here that we can solve for a variable. Let's say if we do L, divide both sides by W, and we get L equals 8,000 over W. That would help. That means any place in this expression that we have L, we can write 8,000 over W instead. So, that means we can write our perimeter as 2 times 8,000 over W plus 2W. And now, after we pretty this up a little bit, which should be differentiable without too much problem. 2 times 8,000 is 16,000. Uh, again, instead of putting this as over w, I'm going to put w to the minus 1 because I think that will make our derivatives go smoother. And yeah, we can do that derivative. dpdw is minus 16,000 w to the minus 2 plus 1 times 2, w to the 0. And if we want to know where this minimizes, where it bottoms out, we want to know where its derivative equals 0. So, what does this look like? Minus 16,000 over w squared. I know I just switched it out of this form. I, I like power form for doing derivatives. I like this form better for doing algebra, so I kind of dance between the two. I hope that isn't driving you up the wall. Okay, there's our expression with the power taken out. We want to isolate w, and my standard way of doing this would be to multiply everything by w squared. That's definitely not the only way. You could take this term to the other side and then do reciprocals on both sides. Or There's a couple other ways you could attack it, but I'm, I'm used to this and I know it works, so... I will show it to you now. First term, the w squareds cancel out. Second term, we get w squared. And third term, we get 0 times w squared, so it ends up not mattering. So, after all that, we have minus 16,000 plus 2w squared equals 0. Uh, take the 16,000 to the right. 2w squared equals positive 16,000. Divide by 2. Square root. Technically, w is plus or minus the square root of 8,000, but because we're talking about the width of a rectangle, the negative answer is kind of rubbish, so I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. w is the square root of 8,000, which is not a nice number. It's 89. Point four. Uh, what are we talking? The units are centimeters. And for the length, well, we have up here that the length is 8,000 divided by W, which means the length is 8,000 divided by the square root of 8,000, which is, lo and behold, the square root of 8,000. So W and L are the same size. And you'll find this a lot with optimization problems in geometry, that the most efficient shapes, or the most balanced shapes, tend to be squares and spheres, things that have equal measurements in both directions. Anytime you start to take a shape and stretch it out, either way, you end up using more material than you need to. So this is an inefficient shape, this is a more efficient shape, and that, it, that was a square before I let go, and squares are the most efficient type of shape. So you tend to see those a lot 
in problems where they tell you to minimize material. The most efficient rectangle is actually a square, which is 89.4 by 89.4 centimeters.